morning, brothers and sisters. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 29, page 283. The Sabbath was not for Israel merely, but for the world. It had been made known to man in Eden, and like the other precepts of the Decalogue, it is of imperishable obligation of that law of which the fourth commandment forms a part christ declares till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law so long as the heavens and the earth endure the sabbath will continue as a sign of the creator's power and when eden shall bloom on earth again God's holy rest day will be honoured by all beneath the sun. From one Sabbath to another, the inhabitants of the glorified new earth shall go up to worship before me, saith the Lord. Matthew chapter 5, verse 18 and Isaiah chapter 66, verse 23. Do you realise that keeping the Sabbath holy is part of your preparation for heaven? Are you keeping the Sabbath today? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help me today to keep your Sabbath day holy. Help me to realize that the Sabbath day will not pass and will continue even in heaven. May you give me the grace that I need today to keep the Sabbath as I prepare for your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May you have a good day ahead of you. Goodbye.